Hey guys, I am back with a nice dumpster dive haul to share with you today. Uh, I know it's been almost a week since my last video. I just have not been finding much. Um, it doesn't look like it by my table now, but I just started finding all this stuff in the past two days. So it, I went a few days with finding nearly nothing, um, which is fine. You know, I'll go through phases like that. But finally found some good stuff that I'm excited to share with you. So let's get right into it. Starting down here. Um, this is the only thing from the pharmacy store that I usually find tons and tons of stuff at that I have found this whole week. So just a bag of pop bottles um, that I can return for 10 cents each. So that's a good find. This is cute. It's like a little side end table stool type thing. Um, I actually think I'm going to make it into a footstool. It did have a top right here. If you can see, it was a mirror that was shattered. This is just cardboard. But I think maybe I'll take all of that mirror off and put a cushion on top. I'm in the market for a footstool, so I think that's sturdy enough. Yeah. All right. Good idea there. Um, it's gold. Super pretty. Obviously, it came brand new in this box. It was just broken on the top. Over here, this is really disappointing to me um, because <laughs> I really like this. But... Um, it's a brand new backpack. Their price was $35, but the tag on it right here says $128. So I'm assuming it's a pretty nice quality backpack. Its brand is Tudelo, New York. It was thrown out because it was dirty, and it's quite dirty, but I'm positive that I will be able to get that off. The thing is, though, is they ripped it up. They tore it. They cut it right here, and they cut it all on the back right here. And it does go pretty deep but it doesn't go through to the inside of the backpack. So I'm thinking hopefully I'll be able to save that and use it because it's really nice. And it's a shame that they had to do that to it. Well, they didn't have to, but it's a shame they did. Over here I have some jeans. They are not a style I'm in love with. And they're men's anyways, but um, yeah, just some basic jeans. And then right here is a basic white long sleeve kids shirt it does have a red mark on it right there but I'm pretty sure that will come off it has like a texture to it so I don't think it's an actual stain uh, giving you a sneak peek here I might as well show this next this is actually I think my favorite find this haul it is a clock and I find so many clocks um, I have them all over my house but this one fits my motif perfectly. It has like the distressed white. I really love the shape of it and it works. Most of my clocks don't work but this one is ticking away. As you can see it is 455 and that is correct. So I love that. I am hanging it on my wall. I moved one of my other clocks that I also love but this one fits the decor better. So good find there. Um, it was brand new. It's just that the glass was shattered. Right here I have this pretty little it's not a jewelry box, it's just a, a trinket box. It has this cool watercolor blue top and a mirrored side. The only thing is there's two chips on the corners here, but nothing is shattered on it. So, super good find. And all of these things right here came from the same store this morning, actually. This is just like a fake lavender setup. Um, in the back, the pot is broken, but from right here, you can't tell at all. So if I do choose to display this, I will keep it facing the back and nobody will ever know. This is cute. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep this geometric thing on the outside because it has for sure seen better days. And this is this one right here is completely missing. Um, yeah, it's shattered over here. And there's actually one on the bottom with glass missing. And I don't want to get glass all over my house. But um, I'll for sure take the little succulents out and use those. I think that's super cute. Right here. This was in its little box too. I have no idea why it was thrown out. I'm thinking there must have been a lid. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> gonna break things, but um, there's no cracks in it, or at least there wasn't. And I think it was brand new. There's, well, there is a price tag. It says zero, but underneath it, I'm sure it says its actual price. Super cool. Blue vase type thing. And that's this thing next to it is another nice blue vase. It just it has a broken top right here, and which is fine. Um, if you put like a flower arrangement, you won't be able to tell. But none of the cracks go all the way down the vase, so that's a really nice find as well. 
and I love the ombre-esque look that it has. Right here I have a fake orchid. Nothing special, the vase is broken, but the plant itself is just fine. And then right here is a cute little 5x7 picture frame. It is mirrored as well. Um, I think I might give this to my parents as well because they have the mirrored room. I do not. It had a little crack in this corner, but I glued it and it is completely fine. Moving along, a brand new shower liner. The packaging is ripped, but I'm hoping they didn't... This store usually doesn't destroy things. Um, yeah, I think it looks fine. It's really heavy duty. It has the magnets and the... Um, eyelets and it says it's mildew resist resistant so that's a good find I will definitely be using that right here I have two pairs of I believe they're kids because they look smaller Puma socks brand new they're on their little hanger obviously it's just missing whatever else was on here probably a bunch more socks it's a good find and right here Calvin Klein pajama set I wish <laughs> the joggers were in there I love joggers but the pants are missing the shirt is still in here so a brand new Calvin Klein undershirt or just pajama shirt and then I have some Calvin Klein Eternity men's this is just like a cologne this is what is that probably something similar like another cologne this was a lotion and I could feel it in the box like and I'm assuming this is what this is but it got on my hands um, so that's missing and then this is hair and body wash interesting but almost a full set of kelvin klein eternity and then some cologne and aftershave right here ps is the brand i don't know if that's a good brand or if it's just like a store cheap brand but either way somebody will enjoy that and then right here i have the world's largest sweet potato this thing is huge it's like the size of a newborn child and um he was just sitting there in the garbage, so I was like, you know what, I'll take him home and I will eat him. So, I got that, and then I got this thing of watermelon. Um, its date is the 16th, which today is only the 14th, so it does need to be eaten soon, as you can see with these darker ones, but the rest of them look great. Moving this way, I have, I think, 15, I don't, I counted, but I think there's 15 of these brand new, they all have their tags on them in these little hangers. They're officially licensed Michigan, like U of M scarves. And I actually found these in Ann Arbor, which is the city that U of M is in. So um, it's January, it's cold, I live in Michigan, and um, there was no reason for these to be thrown out. They were in their packaging, like, as you can see, that one's not even opened. So... Just a bunch of waste. I'll keep some and then I'll donate the rest. This way, right here, I from the same store I got a whole bunch of DVDs. Brand new. They're all sealed up. They're all Christmas. These are all Elf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Elf DVDs. Um, and it's like, some of them are French. Let me find it. Okay, Elf. Oh, right here. They all say the French version. Not. I'm not saying it's in French, but like you can switch it to French, I'm assuming. I don't know, who knows, but um, Elf, hilarious movie, highly recommended. <laughs> On top of that, I have a little Paw Patrol Christmas ornament, brand new, and then right here is one Four Christmases DVD, which is also so funny. This one is hilarious. Um, my all-time favorite Christmas movie, highly recommended. I quote it almost every day, um, so that's a good find. I'll probably keep that. Right here, this is cute. It says my week. It's a dry erase board, and then you can plan your week out, I suppose. It said, it had a sign that said bad nail on it, but this is fine. It's not moving at all, so I'm not sure what they were talking about. That's cute. And then these I'm excited about. As you can see, they were $25 clearance down to $17.38. Isn't that a, like a Fetty Wap song? $17.38? Yep, for sure. Okay, anyways, um... They're little light-up, battery-operated balls, and they're all working. So that's super cute. I'm definitely going to put these out in my house. And I think the second one is timer, like it has a timer, and then the third time you click it, it goes off. So that's cute. I'll keep those. And then right here, you might recognize this, actually. I have this exact same pillow already on my couch, um, but I found another one. 
the last one I found, the zipper was completely gone. This one, however, it was just busted open, and it was a little tricky to zip it back up, but I got it all the way zipped back up, completely fine, no issues. Um, it had some dirt on it from being at the bottom of the dumpster, but here it is, just fine. Getting a new chance at life with its matching pillow in my house. <laughs> so yeah, that I'll definitely keep. Um, right here I have some 5-in-1 hair and body wash with the little pump. The pump is definitely nice. And behind that I have a cool gray globe with the countries in red. It did break right there. You can see the crack and everything, but from this side with the USA in the front and South America, can't see anything. So I'll probably keep that as well. And then lastly for this haul, I'm pretty sure, yep, is this little candle set. Um, the candles aren't in there, but it's the candlesticks. They are all broken. They're not shattered at all. It's just that they all came apart where the ball is connected. Here's one of the balls. As you can see, it's a pretty clean break. All of them are just like that. So it's basically been broken into six separate little candle holders and the three balls. It'll be an easy fix with some E6000 glue, but um, if I do end up keeping those, I'm definitely going to paint them white or something along those lines because this dark, uh, the dark candlesticks aren't just, just aren't my style. So we'll see what happens with those. I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today's haul. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be back a little sooner with some great stuff.